Welcome to another episode of Factorio. Wow, wow. Um, quick update on the uranium-235 and 238 being processed. Got all 32 of them up and running. And I was being green. A couple of trees actually stayed intact. So far, 3,700 of them have been processed of the 238 the 235, I've got 23 of them. Oh man, I haven't even done the ratio on it, but woo, that's infinitesimal. That's why they were talking about it being, um, oh crap, where the hell is it? Well, somewhere up there, there's like a 0.97% chance or something like that. Was it, was it in the centrifuge? Uh, I don't know, I'd have to open one up. Well, anyways, so there it is. 3,800 now to 24 of them. Oh, there's number 25 right there. Bink. Okay. Now, the cool thing about that is... Right here is the uranium fuel cell, which is going to have to go into the nuclear reactor. It uses uranium fuel cells to generate heat. The heat output increases when built next to other reactors. Um, I don't think I'm going to automate those guys. But getting ahead of myself a little bit. So the ure uranium fuel cell, it takes one of the uranium-235 and 19 of the 238s, plus 10 iron plates. However, it produces 10 uranium fuel cells. Um, now, how long it burns, consumes nuclear fuel? I, I don't know. I have not a clue. But what I want to get processed is those guys. Get that up and running. Um, but before we get to there, I want to go ahead and start automating heat pipes, heat exchangers, and steam turbines. So to do all of that, we need copper plate and steel plate, and pipe, and gears. Well, guess what? Um, we happen to be right over here back at our main base. We've got steel pipe here, iron plate, and copper plate. Everything we need is right here. So, this is where it's going to be operating at. And I'm going to use up this whole thing right here. So, first things first. If we have this here for heat exchange. So we need copper plate and steel plate. Okay, heat pipes. I think we can do this real quick. Oh, what's the crafting time? One second. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a whole hell of a lot. Um, you know, oh, wait, wait. What's the power consumption on these things? 133 at max. And that's 46.7 at max. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, steel pipes are taken care of. Now we need copper plate. So, copper plates right here. Hmm. Do I want to join this other one also? Nah. Let's do that. Oh, I don't want those guys. I want these. You know what? I might just send it off in that direction. Make a nice line. Okay, let's do that. Oh, maybe if I flip it that direction. There we go. Oh! It's going north. Okay. Well, let's take it out right... Uh, there. Okay, now... Boom, to boom. Yeah, I have, oh, 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 and you know what, let's, passive provider chest, time to start using these guys, and, crafting time of one per second, woo, and I have no idea how much we're going to need or what the stack size is, so we'll limit that, and we're not inside the network, 
we can remedy that real quick if I had some on me. Okay, let's go get some robo ports and we'll keep this all in the logistics systems. And yeah, everything's piling up over here. I don't want the belts going in there. Thank you. Or the rail line. I wonder what happened. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Everything's so quiet down here at the main base. I'm actually even uh, doing follower robo count three. Get that up. Um, for now, let's take 10. And those chests were good on. I uh, still got my 50 construction bots. Logistic bots are all there. All right, that's what we needed. fired up so I'm not you no, not even coming close to using this or this especially the copper well we actually we did come kind of close to that using all that iron but this copper not even close not even okay so let's get this robo port over get both sides of those touching there we go and Let's drop you right there and to there. There we go. Now it's inside the logistics area. Perfect. Then we'll take that to there. And have that go in there. There it is. Okay, after heat pipes, we got heat exchangers. That'll take pipe and gears. Okay, we'll do a direct insert on that one. Okay. So we've got these guys coming across. And let's... Do, do, do. We're not blocking the chest. There we go. There it is. Crafting time. Uh oh my god, 100 copper plate. Oh. Okay. Um yeah. Fast inserters. Try that there. But you know what? Let's limit that to one stack. And now we need pipe. And pipe. is made from iron plate. Iron plate we got right here. Let's do this. We will direct insert that. That will be pipe. Take that. Split this off right. Oh. There. Take that over to there. Take a long reach. Drop it in there. There it goes. Ooh, quick look-see. Yeah, those trees are helping out a lot, slowing them down. Yeah, got to protect that uranium. Oh, that's the sulfur. Sweet. Oh, here it comes. Boom. Okay, we're here for this. There it is, heat exchangers. 
Now we need steam turbines. Copper plate, iron gear, and pipe. Okay, let's get this guy down here. We'll drop this here. Um, that's going to be a turbine. No, actually, we... No, 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 no. We'll make that. I'm going to take gears and pipes. Okay, let's... Uh, we'll have... We'll make this go down the line. Gears. Direct insert it into that. Direct insert into that, and that should work. This guy is going to be steam turbines, which then take pipe. We'll call this pipe. Okay, and what was the last thing we needed? Copper plate. Actually, just put it in the right spot. There we go. Now, we are going to take this, drop it right there. Put the crafting speed on these. Oh, three seconds, but that's going to take a lot of stuff going in. Uh, ba -ba -ba. One inserter. Again, I don't know what the capacity is, so. One stack. Heat pipe 50. Well, let's make 100. And nine. You mean it's a stack of 10 for it. Okay, we'll get one more going and we'll see what happens. But let's see here. This is going to take, let's see. Generate heat. So the heat pipes, uh, I will guess we'll conduct the heat. Then the heat exchanger uses heat energy to, to turn water into steam. So this must travel into this to produce the heat. And then it turns into steam with water input. Oh crap. Um, okay, we'll have to make sure we can get some water. And then the steam turbine takes the steam, and boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, I have no idea what the ratios are on this thing. But we will look into it. 12. Okay, that's... You know what? We'll go two stacks on that also. And... Turbines. You know what? We'll go two stacks on that also. And just like that, we've got some other stuff done. Oh, man. Production. Nope, 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 nope. I want to concentrate on nuclear. You want to know what? A short but sweet episode. We got the components. Steam turbines. Oh, crap. What were these? Heat exchangers and heat pipes. I am going to handcraft. I don't know or nuclear reactors in between episodes. And we'll get ready for the next one. And I'll play around and see if I can figure out how the hell to do all this nuclear stuff. All right, and there we go. All right, thank you for joining me on this journey in Factorio. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.